Hello, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, my camping channel. Um, now, you're probably thinking, why are you down here in amongst all this bush? I'm thinking much the same, but uh, like all brand new responsible drone owners, I drove mine into a tree on the other side of a river and now I have to uh, go and find it. Otherwise, it's a very expensive shot. Okay, I've traversed a lot of bushland and I think we're nearly there, almost. I nearly knocked it off then. All right, I'm gonna gently extract this and uh, I'll let you know in a second whether I manage to get it or drop it into the water. Okay, it looks like a great success. The only thing I lost was the uh, ND filter. So hopefully I can make do with the other three I've got. It's still in good order, nothing's wrong with it. So <sighs> thankful for a, <laughs> for a soft landing. It was perfectly fine. And I also managed to find the ND filter as well, which is really, really surprising because I thought of all things that would be in the drink, but, um, but no, it's not. And I've got it and uh, I've taken the drone for a couple of other flights. Um, yeah, then I stopped at Fernhook Falls um, or the, the pool that's there. Um, these are old um, places which yeah I've never really been to before but I'll probably come down and do another trip with a bit more detail if I've got a bit more time because um, I work public holidays but it's a long weekend um, so I don't get the whole four five days off like everybody else I'm just down here for a couple of nights um, then I've got to rush back tomorrow so I can get back to work on time and it's a four hour drive from uh, from where I'm going to be staying tonight to my house in Perth. Yeah, but yeah, beautiful scenery through here. I'm going to flip the camera around and, and show you what uh, what I'm driving through and then uh, we'll get to this mountain, do a bit of a climb and um, then set up camp for the night. Simple, easy uh, little trip and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the journey. How'd you go? Oh, <laughs> I got up there. It's a long way. Oh, is there much more to go? Yeah, there is about half again. Oh, lovely. Yeah. It's much easier than I thought it was going to be, but I'm still out of breath. But, well, the view is incredible. Apparently, I've still got a little bit more to go, so I'll update you uh, when we get to the top, I guess. This is the incredible Caldenup, or Mount Franklin, in the Mount Franklin National Park. Uh, the total size of the park is 31,000 hectares, and you'll see Cary, Jarrah, and Tingle Forest in there. Atop of this granite mass, you get 360 degree views of the Walpole Wilderness. It's amazing stuff. Also, it's 411 meters high, and on the top there, you'll see the fire and watch tower. These are used in the summer months, not really in the winter months so much. And probably one of my favorite things is if you don't want to climb up here, there is a lookout tower on the other side as well, which sits you amongst the trees, which is kind of amazing. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be a shorter walk but it was all right, it was pretty decent. Um, so now I'm just gonna find somewhere to camp for the night because it is 20 to five and I rocked up to camp last night at about, I don't know, it's nearly eight o'clock. So I'd like to get there before it gets dark and maybe start a fire and maybe cook on the fire tonight rather than on the butane stove because I don't know, everything just tastes better on a, on a campfire. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna drive around and have a look. Apparently, there is a Mount Franklin campground there. Maybe I've driven past it, I don't know. There's no real campground. 
Maybe I'll just go back to Fernhook. I don't think the day looks as impressive on camera as it was to me. Um, maybe this is also because it's the first time out in a very, very long time. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with the day. Um, I wish I'd just gotten up earlier <laughs> and didn't fly the drone into a tree because then we would have had way more time. Um, but nice to see a little bit of Walpole, only if it's, um, or it's not even Walpole yet. This is um, Mount Franklin and the surrounds so yeah I'll have to come down here with a few days because there's lots and lots of things that I want to check out down here but I guess uh, this will do I don't know <laughs> we'll see I just want an excuse to make a video and hopefully this comes out all right and hopefully uh, you've enjoyed coming along for the ride I'm gonna cook some dinner um, and uh, go to bed um, maybe I'll try and get some astrophotography, but there's heaps of trees here. There's only like a really small opening where I could probably get anything and it might look a bit shit. But we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. where having the awning would have really come in handy. Last night I dropped a wet wipe into the water and now the water doesn't taste very good. It tastes like wet wipe, which is probably not healthy to continue drinking. Luckily I've got some other water, but it feels annoying. I've wasted like two litres of water. I mean, I guess I could use it for cleaning, 
which is fine. <laughs> anyway, quick coffee, um, and then we'll hit the road and get going um, back to Perth today. It is uh, quarter past eight. I'm up really early for me, um, which is lovely. It's nice to catch the morning light once in a while. I think this is the earliest I've woken since maybe going to an airport. But anyway, we'll finish this coffee, get this, and uh, we'll be fueled up and ready to go.